snap, crackle, pop. The world of autonomous sensory meridian response, or ASMR, has taken over the internet by storm, one crunch at a time. This sensory experience gives individuals a relaxing, tingling sensation in their scalp that spreads throughout their entire body, from their spine to their limbs. While much of the world seems to enjoy this seemingly soothing sensation, does everyone? We brought people into our studio to find out the truth. (laughs) Okay, so I already feel like I'm not going to like this, but let's give it a try. Oh, I really like this. I have like tingles all over. This is um, inspired by a video I saw recently. Um, I don't like this. Oh. Where I really like this with makeup. Oh my god, she's scratching in the mic. Why? Wow. This is great. I really like this. Mm. Oh my god. <laughs> this is so weird. <laughs> While negative reactions to excessive sounds might seem like a normal thing, overly negative reactions might be indicative of something more serious, specifically a disorder called misophonia, translating to the hatred of sound. Misophonia is characterized by symptoms ranging from mild discomfort, such as anger and anxiety, to tightness and pain in the chest and arms in response to certain sounds, such as eating, chewing, and clicking. While misophonia might seem like hating the sound of people chewing, which is completely justified, scientists have identified six core symptoms for diagnosis. Number one, the presence or anticipation of a specific sound provoking an impulsive, aversive physical reaction, starting with irritation that later becomes anger. Number two, anger initiates loss of self-control with potential aggressive outbursts. Number three, recognizing that this is excessive for the specific circumstances. Number four, the person tends to avoid specific situations. Number five, the person's anger causes significant distress or significant interference in the person's day-to-day life. And finally, number six, the person's disgust and avoidance are not better explained by any other psychological disorder. Surprisingly, the differences in reaction of people with misophonia aren't even just behavioral. They show differences even in the brain. In a study conducted in 2017, researchers compared brain activity between individuals with misophonia and those without while watching and listening to trigger sounds, such as chewing, eating, and breathing. They found an abnormal increase in brain activity and connectivity between an area called the anterior insular cortex and a network of other brain regions responsible for the processing and regulation of emotions. Essentially, misophonic individuals' brains are wired to respond differently to trigger sounds in comparison to healthy individuals. Although the relaxing benefits of ASMR have dominated the internet, It's important to acknowledge misophonia and recognize its behavioral and neurological impacts. That being said, while there are no cures for misophonia, there are options and treatments, such as cognitive behavioral therapy and psychological counseling. While we're no experts on misophonia, if you are experiencing these symptoms, we recommend that you seek out a professional for any sort of diagnosis. So if you're not reacting the way that you expect to when you watch an ASMR video, don't worry, you're not missing out.